Hey everyone, this is Daniel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can resolve InfoPath web form issues on public websites. Um, the steps I'm providing over here do not involve any custom coding at all, um, and you don't even have to use any PowerShell. So let me just give you a quick background of what the issue is. Um, say you have a public website like this, where you see the sign-in, which means anonymous access can access the site, um, and you are tasked to build a list and the list should have a form which should be accessible to the front-end anonymous users um, such that people can go ahead and populate all the fields in the form, hit submit, and the list should get populated. Um, so basically, you want the form to look something like this. You log into the site, I mean, you access the site, you hit on the form, and this should be a form. Um, now, when I was tasked to do that, um, I ran into an issue uh, where the form would work just fine when I logged into when I was logged into the site. However, when I hit the form um, anonymous, anonymously, that is, when I accessed it this way, um, an error would come up. Um, and that was a legitimate error. So in this video, I'm going to actually walk you through an example where I'm creating just a dummy list um, and um, you know set up all the permissions where anonymous people can add the item. Um, and then we'll set up the form so that it can be accessed anonymously. We'll see the error and I'll walk you through the steps of how to resolve the error. I've also um, put down all the steps in the Microsoft Technet article that I've recently published, and you can see those steps over there as well. Um, and just as an addition, I've built this video. So here is the site, and here's actually a form that I've built, um, and I resolved the, um, the working of this form in the same way I'm going to describe. So now, as an example, I'm going to go ahead and build another list, a test list, and create another form. Let me just log into the site. It's a test site. And before we start anything, I just want to make sure that you have all the basic requirements set up for the form to work. So let me just go to the site settings. I'm going to go into the site collection features. And let me scroll down and show you that all the features are turned on. So we have the SharePoint Server Enterprise Site Collection Features, the Publishing Infrastructure, and the Standard uh, Site Collection Feature turned on. Um, and right off the bat, when I build the site, I also have the Limited Access User Permission Locked On Mode active. Uh, this is definitely a required feature on a public website, um, and, and I highly recommend that, primarily for the security set, uh, sake. Also, let me go into the Manage Site Features. And you can see that the enterprise feature, server publishing, and the standard site features is turned on. So let me go ahead and now build a quick list. And just call that as test two. And that's the wrong one. Let me just go ahead and create some columns. Let's see, first name. And if that is a required column. Last name. Make that as a required as well. And the columns I'm building has no bearing on the issue. Uh, I'm just creating a column just to have some information populated there. Say So here it is. Here's the list, our test list. I'm going to go ahead and build a quick form. And it's going to bring up my InfoPad Designer 2013. And I'm just going to make it really simple.
Let me also put in two quick buttons over here. So submit. And this one is cancel. Create some rules for these buttons. Submit data. Okay. Close the form. And for the cancel button, I'm just going to hit, I'll choose the option to close the form. So let me just go ahead and publish that. And I see it is. I click on a new item, I should see the form, and I do. Uh, let me also, just for my personal pre preference, go into the form options and take off the ribbon over there. That's just a personal preference, you don't have to do that. Alright, so now let's go into the site and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a page add a page, I'm going to call the page test form 2 I've created that I'm going to add the infopad form web part forms Edit the web part. Let's pick that list which I've made. The test two. Yep. Uh, submit behavior. Let's close the form. Appearance. I just want to check. Get rid of the title. And apply. Okay. Check it in. Continue. I'm going to publish it. I'm not really sure what caused that. Right, so it's published. Okay, so let's do that again. So here's the test form two. So some of the basic things we have to do is go ahead and give that list. Um, the access it needs. Um, <coughs> for the anonymous people to fill in the information. So I'm going to go into list settings, uh, permissions for this list, uh, the site inherits permissions from its parents, you want to stop the inheritance because right now as you see anonymous users only have view items. So I'm going to stop that, I'm going to go into anonymous access and I have to give them the add items. So that's the correct permissions over there. Um, also, one thing I do is I go ahead to the places where the pages are. That's the new page that I've built, Test Form 2. Um, I also make sure that in the library settings, um, permissions for this document library, and anonymous users can view the, that page. So it looks like everything's good. I'm going to go ahead and close it. I can close this designer as well. I'm going to try and access the site. Um, this is a new form that we built. Now, when I go ahead and click on it, I get this error. Um, so, let me in fact click the error details as well. And it says a form template cannot be accessed. You may not have required permissions to open the file. So, this is, is a common thing uh, which is coming across on all the, once again, the InfoPath web based forms which is accessed anonymously and that is a public facing website. Now, when I hit close, I can still see that the page is functioning. Uh, as you can see, that's the URL we put in. Um, the form has been closed because that's the action, the rule we put in, but the form itself doesn't work. So now I'm going to go through the steps to actually resolve this issue. So let me go ahead first and log into the site as myself. So if 
first thing I'm going to do is go into the site settings and I'm going to go into the site collection features and the limited access user permission lockdown mode I'm going to deactivate it. And I want to be very clear when I say that this deactivation is just a temporary thing that I'm going to do right now to actually resolve it. In the end you will see that I come, come back and activate it. Uh, it is best practice not to leave this deactivated especially in a public facing website because then the anonymous users can hit all the other um, sites and setting pages as well. So it's considered as, as, a, as a wrong thing. Best practice is to have this activated. But th what I'm doing right now is just a temporary thing. So now that I've done that, I want to go back into the list and I can access that from here. And in the list, I'm going to inherit the permissions. So right now would be a good time to make a note of all the uh, custom permissions if you have set up any. Um, that would be a good time. And I'm going to delete the unique permissions. Go ahead and inherit that. And just leave it as it is. And I'm going to do a test. So let me log out. Go back in. And let's hit that form. And here you go. You can actually see the form. You don't have any errors. Uh, but we are still incomplete. I want to log in. Okay, logged in, site settings, um, let's go back into the, the list itself. Permissions for this list. Let me stop inheriting permissions. Go to anonymous access because I need the anonymous users to have the access to at least add the item. Okay, and now we got to go back to the site settings, site collection features, and I need to turn on the limited access user permissions lockdown mode. Okay, it's active. Um, the form is still there. Let's go ahead and close the page. Log in. Test form 2, the form is there. Let's just make sure it even works. Testing. Uh, John Doe, Charlotte, Carolina, USA. Hit submit. It works. Um, now here's the ultimate test to see whether the security layout section is actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and actually try to hit the settings page. Now if the security layouts page is actually active, I should not have access to this page. There should actually be a authentication box that opens up. And there you go. That, that literally means that the lockdown feature is working. So this basically is how you resolve that issue in a nutshell. Um, like I mentioned before, every time you create a new list and you build a custom form using InfoPad Designer and you have to have that displayed on a public website that is uh, viewed by anonymous access, access, you have to go through and resolve it with these uh, steps that I've shown you. Um, and then it's up to you. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do an IS reset, that's up to you. Um, but these are the steps uh, that you have to follow and you have to follow in the specific order that I've shown both in this video and describe that in my my article. So uh, thanks for your time and uh, have a nice day.